Hello, welcome back to Trailer Trash. It's been a while. Now, that is not cool enough. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and jump right in with a trailer that came out last year. Um, and I wanted to talk about, but I kind of did my whole hiatus thing. So we're going to talk about it now for anybody who hasn't caught on. There's going to be a Fallout show movie maybe and there's a trailer for it so let's check it out i know that i've lived a relatively comfortable life stop mercy Oh, same guy who did the series for Westworld, which is kind of funny. It fits. Um, <clears throat> so Fallout, for those of you who don't know, video game franchise. Uh, and a video game franchise I personally enjoy the heck out of uh, and have for years now. And the idea of there being a show, I'm going to assume it's a show, based on the Fallout franchise, it just kind of makes sense, right? Like, you could easily screw it up royally but just the concept alone th there's just way too much there to work with um and so yeah i'm actually super stoked about this though from what i've heard from other people there's an apprehension about it like if it's going to be that good it's funny because one of the first trailers i almost covered on trailer trash was a supposed trailer for fallout like a fallout show but it ended up being some fan-made thing that was mostly like clips from the video game which is where i caught on i'm like oh this is just some fan made bs um so but almost the first trailer would have been a a, a fake <laughs> trailer of this essentially you need to go home vault dwellers are an endangered species I do that's a rad scorpion i know that um also vault 33 which is that an established vault, or is that a new vault for the sake of the series? I actually want to check something really quick. Yeah, created specifically for the upcoming Fallout TV series. Set in Los Angeles, which is cool. That's another thing I wanted to point out. This this setting, uh, this wasteland, as it were, um, I always thought they never captured it quite right in video game form. Or the original two games certainly did uh that that kind of wasteland that there's just nothing out there but dirt it's basically like this uh but for the the 3d games they kind of went overboard <laughs> with how trees are still alive regardless of the fact that they're like m only miles away from where a warhead had dropped hundreds of years ago I, it's you know who knows what would actually happen and also it's a video game so who cares what would actually happen but it's just like you think it fallout 76 where it's just like the earliest people coming back out of the vaults into the wasteland and it's just beautiful green completely untouched by nuclear fallout it's like wait it's this is fallout and it's not just fallout but it's the earliest from the bombs dropping canonically to people coming out of the vaults, or at least in a video game setting, this is the earliest you leave a vault. Because typically you're in a shelter in the game, so you come out of the shelter, like what's going on in this trailer. But it's just like the prettiest landscape is in the one where it's been the least amount of time between nuclear annihilation and wandering that landscape. So already, I think, unless this is just, you know, because it's California as a desert, so obviously it's gonna come back to desert. Already though, I like the the look. Because it should be drab and bland, right? I think you would be willing to do what it takes to survive up here. If you insist on staying, then you will have to adapt. It's uh oh, fuck, what was his name? Lost. The guy from Lost. <laughs> uh huh. Free two day shipping. What the hell? What is? Is that a joke or is that is that a thing? A, a series? What? 
I'm confused. I don't. If it's supposed to be a joke, I don't get it. I don't want to see tomorrow unless I see it. tomorrow. So they say. All right, well, right off the bat, uh, from a studio with money, like, I don't, I don't know. Am I, am I being too nitpicky or does that look really fucking stupid? <laughs> like, I, like that looks like something that would have come from that fan made trailer that I watched a while back. It almost did a trailer trash on like it looks like that kind of quality i don't know maybe it was all completely like organically made those are actual suits and actually function like power armor or some shit but it just doesn't look good on camera i don't know but yeah that that didn't that didn't get me Lovely day, a bright new sun will suddenly break through but i don't I see it with you. I grabbed a moldy one. <clears throat> so one thing Fallout never had, uh, Cyclopses, um, especially since I, like, I get it, like, oh, mutations, right? But... This is uh, this looks like it takes place in a vault. The dude's wearing a vault suit. In fact, he may just be the overseer if that window behind him is any indication. So how did he get mutated? Unless that's part of like the story behind the vaults. Is that Agent Cooper? Is that kind of looks like uh, Kyle MacLachlan, Dale Dale Cooper? Is that Twin Peaks? Anyway. So, hold on, is also, what exclusive site is it? Amazon Prime. There's always, there's always that catch, right? All right, well, if you don't have Amazon Prime and you like Fallout, bust out the wallet. Uh, why is, so, it looks like, oh, never mind. For some reason, I thought the cowboy was in a vault jumpsuit, but it's just, the same colors, which is actually a nice touch if that was intentional. So I was like, why is a Fallout dude, or a Vault Tech guy rather, riding a horse down Mulholland Drive? All the bombs are dropping in Los Angeles. Because of course, they'd have to uh, show the actual Fallout happen, even though that's not something you ever got in the video games. You don't actually watch the Fallout. Maybe in the originals. But, uh,. Interesting. Uh, I I have mo like most people who, who whose opinions of Fallout I respect for the most part. Um, yeah, it's kind of iffy. I'm not sure. I'm not sure how I feel about it. Uh, but again, it's the game sets itself up where there's just so many the the world the game takes place in. There's just so many possibilities that it's not like you can throw in something that makes absolutely no sense and everybody would just riot because of how bad of a choice that was. And that's the beauty of the games too, is how each one kind of lends itself to different themes and ideas. You know, Fallout 4, you had the uh, kind of a film noir, as uh, my coffee mug is, is film noir movies, Nick Valentine sort of detective work or the old the shroud the silver shroud the old radio programs you know spoofs of that um you have 
just the absolute bonkers shit like in Fallout 3 with, I mean, just Bob in general, the ghoul uh, who better make a cameo in this, the tree growing out of his head. Uh, you get that that forest of of was in the DC area Fallout 3 takes place in, and there's like a little patch of forest, and everybody kind of worships the tree there, but the tree is just a zombie essentially who grew a tree out of his head and wants to be put out of his misery. You know, things like that. It, it, it lends itself to humor too, which this better do a good job of doing as well. Um, but also before I get to the comments, uh, the music I'm okay with, but if there isn't any Billie Holiday or um, Louis Armstrong involved in this show music wise, uh, I will riot because <clears throat> that like a kiss to build a dream on like that's the theme of fallout essentially to me. Well, there's also maybe, but a kiss to build a dream on is like the essential that behind a post nuclear apocalypse backdrop is the, the image of fallout. And I don't really get that from this. It looks a bit too modern, unfortunately. It's kind of strange how the video game could pull off, you know, feeling Fallout, but the show itself feels too modern age. It's hard to explain. But, I mean, that's just all. It, <laughs> that All that, those opinions kind of come from, uh, you know, just the trailer alone and also years of pessimism when it comes to things I love being turned into film franchises. Uh, but with that, let's check out the comments. There are glimpses, but I was hoping for a stronger Adam Punk retro futuri futuristic 50s vibe. Yeah, I think that's that's where that, that criticism of modern kind of comes in. It looks too much like what an actual nuclear apocalypse would look like 100 years down the road, not what Fallout does, where it's this weird time period where it's like, technology advanced but we're still kind of in the 50s sort of thing again hence the music hence that that style that that retro look to it like that needs to be in there more i think is yeah where the the concern lies essentially i was expecting that sound may i think they mean song maybe a kiss to build a dream on or i don't want to set the world on fire oh yeah another good one again Assuming that they'll rectify it with another trailer or the show itself will actually have that that retro 50s look. Assuming they're going to go with that. I mean, the song itself, I don't know what that song was, but it sounded like something of that era, right? Of that, that, that setting of that time period. And so the music, Fallout's music again makes the setting makes the atmosphere of the series so it has to exist in the show for it to succeed i feel the style and direction look great so far campy but considering what the series is generally about dot 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 i just, i didn't get the camp either you know yeah i didn't get that retro look and i didn't get that camp honestly unless you're talking about like the i mean the cyclops guy which again what <laughs> why was there a cyclops especially in a vault where technically mutations shouldn't have happened because they're you know in a vault that's that's the thing too hearing about this and almost right off the cuff you get a very similar to oh here's is that oxhorn talking about being worried about the trailer um yeah i saw that just the thumbnail i'm worried from a guy who I know does a lot of Fallout content, and I'm just like, oh great, it's gonna suck, isn't it? But I mean, giving it a look on my own, I mean, that's that's why you should watch things yourself before having your own, before making your own opinions about something and not just following somebody else's. I mean, ultimately, I'm also worried, and I kind of agree with that sentiment, but, you know, I have my own reasons, like, um, the beginning of this feels very much like the beginning of any video game. You have a vault, and for whatever reason, a person leaving the vault to go on some grand quest. And, you know, of course, the world's crazy out there because it's 100 or so years after nuclear fallout in this, again, weird 
time zone where things were running on nuclear power and we had robotic technology, but we we're still kind of, you know, in post-World War II America. Um, but my concern, as petty as it sounds, is I would want to see more done with the vaults. And not so much, I mean, and it looks like there's going to be more done. Like, you see a lot of clips of the vault. Whether or not this kind of stuff takes place, like, pre-person leaving the vaults, or it's Vault 33 again, so whether this is pre-the lady leaving the vault or post-the lady leaving the vault, like, there's some inciting incident in the vault, therefore you need to go out, again, very much like the video games. But the fun with Fallout Vaults is that each one, with the exception of like maybe one, I don't remember which one, but each one had some sort of weird social scientific experiment going on in the background. Like it's a vault to protect people from nuclear fallout, but also, you know, here's all these weird, crazy social experiments to pull and... It, the fun of it is in the game, you know, you'll go into a vault and everything's like gone to hell in some way, shape or form. And from exploring the vault and from looking up, you know, logs and stuff, you find out like, oh, they were doing some bullshit experiment. The, the overseer, the you know, person who runs the vault was in on it kind of thing. They were told like, oh, you have to... To, to run the vault this way for science, for vault tech's sake, even though, again, the world's ending outside, but somehow vault, the overseers never seem to be like, ah, fuck it, you know, I just want to survive. But yeah, and that was always the fun of the vaults. And so for a TV show, like, of course, in gameplay mode, you can't just have most of it take place in a vault because that'd be really boring. You want to go out and explore. But in a TV setting... Just having a vault and, you know, having that that interaction, those people, like it, it works in two ways because you have the, the people who don't know anything about Fallout or aren't familiar with the Fallout lore being like, okay, so you have a show about people surviving in a Fallout shelter. Uh, you know, there, there's intrigue there. That's, that's interesting. But for the Fallout people, people who are familiar, you'd have this like, what's going to happen? Where do things go to hell? When are they going to leave the vault kind of thing? When I, when I think of a Fallout TV show, it's funny that the guy from Lost is here because I think like a show like Lost or a show like The Walking Dead where it's, it's post-apocalyptic and so anybody could be an important character or they could just die the next episode you never know it's 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 iffy you know it's survival it's it's a tough world to live in and so you have the vault as sort of like the basis of the characters their interminglings and what's going on and then you you'd have you could ha you totally could have had like an entire season take place in this vault where again you just have people who are like oh it's a show about people trying to survive in a bunker interesting and then you have the fallout people being like okay when are they gonna leave what's gonna happen sort of idea like you could have built this up more and just had it be a show about a vault where fans of fallout were gonna be waiting for that that moment to happen where things go to hell usually incredibly violently with vault tech experiments and then they have to go out and join the, the grander world. But in that same instance, you're building those characters and get a sense of who they are. Then you release them out into the world to see how they'd survive. That would be interesting. Um, so again, it's a very petty complaint, but that's mostly my biggest disappointment with this was that vaults, you could do so much more with it uh, because they're it's the most fun they have with the game storytelling wise especially since it's kind of dished out to you piecemeal or you could very well go into a vault, finish a quest, leave the vault and have no idea about the subtext of what happened. You could do the research. You could dig in and f find out like, why is everybody in this vault dead? Or uh, <laughs> why are there 
was it in Fallout 4? There's, there's such good ones too, because there's like that buildup of tension too. Like you're solving this mystery, and then in a lot of cases you get to the ultimate. You know, you you get your answer, but it's it's not a good answer. And there's one where it's like. It was like you walk into the vault and it's completely empty or there's like corpses and stuff. Again, typical to vault tech because the experiments go awry. But there's tickets and like posters for a voting thing. Like people are being voted to become, I think it was Overseer, which is head honcho of, of vaults. But then you do, you read into, you know, what was going on before everything went to hell in the vault and you realize that people don't want to be voted for like this whole voting system is actually a bad thing like being an overseer isn't something you want and then you find out people who become overseer just disappear like they they go into a room and never come back and so finally you follow that process you go into that room and there's like a video i, I wish i could remember the full story of it but you get this like old projector video of you know doing your duty for your country and you know becoming an overseer and stuff but then it has it takes some weird twist where you now have to die like for the sake of your country or something and then the walls go up and there's these big fuck off robots there to kill you it's just so good just that that development where you're just like oh, okay there's some sort of vote going on and then you read up on people's logs and you're like oh people who everybody don't doesn't like are being put up to be voted for like wait what and then you realize oh it's like the the story the lottery the being voted on is a bad thing and then you find out why and you go through that process it's so good and you could do so much with that in a tv setting right so again uh maybe they will do a lot with vaults you know maybe these these characters will explore vaults and uh, you know maybe the the overseer the cyclops overseer is from a different vault i mean it clearly looks like things go to hell the lady with like a fork in her eye going crazy <laughs> i mean i'll give the trailer this a lot of the uh the imagery is appealing like, I'm kind of curious. Like, I, I see weird shit like a lady with a fork in her eye going crazy with a machine gun. And I'm like, okay, I want to know what happens. You got me. Uh, you know, and also your typical cool factor. Yeah, your dog meat. Um, your typical cool factor of a, a ghoul cowboy going on, like, a, a rampage. Like, that's kind of fun. Like, you're going to have that fun gunslinging aspect of it. Again, Fallout, there's just so many cool things about it, good good ways to tell stories through it, like with the vaults, that it would be hard to mess up. And ultimately, my rant about them not utilizing vaults properly, at least according to the trailer, is more because I kind of wish they did it that way <laughs> and not the way they're doing it now. I mean, could you imagine the hype, though, where it's just like, fallout there's a fallout tv series what's the trailer oh it's just people in a vault like oh so you don't even get to see what the outside's like yet you get that you get that interpersonal character building and and interaction and then the, the suspense of what is out there and what is the the vault tech experiment that's gonna go awry which clearly is the case in this because Again, the vault the lady's leaving from seems to have some some bad things going on, according to the trailer. It definitely is Kyle McLaughlin. I'm going to just go ahead and say that is. I don't care if I'm wrong. That is, in fact, Kyle McLaughlin. Uh, yeah, of course, you got to have the dog. Like, whatever. The Cyclops Overseer. Okay, so I mentioned before how it doesn't make sense. Why would there be mutated humans in the vault because they're supposed to be the protected species <laughs> from in the fallout world who haven't been exposed to everything obviously but maybe that's part of the experiment like there's some weird like they're they're taking some sort of weird 
supplemental food or drinking some sort of tainted water. And so therefore some of them are mutated. I don't know. So yeah, I didn't want to go too far into my vault rant, but I mean, there might be an explanation for why the overseer is a cyclops or they just thought it'd be funny. I don't know. But yeah, that's, I, I knew I was going to have a lot to say about <laughs> this one and uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching and uh, goodbye.